On board airline tonight, Katrina tries to help. OK, because I'm closing in five minutes and I really want to get them on. Jane can't help. Did they close the door? They have, yeah. Yes, they have. Yeah, so I can't get you on it. I just haven't got six hours to waste. And Kevin needs some help. The most frustrating part is I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Some exotic booze There's a bar in far Bombay Come fly with me Let's fly, let's fly away Preston, Lancashire And last minute rehearsals are underway For EasyJet passengers Sarah Walker And Francesca Cookson They're due to spend nine weeks working in Mallorca after landing jobs as nightclub podium dancers. We're going to be dancing in one of the uh, top nightclubs in Parma, aren't we? It's, yeah. we're basically, we're just doing podium dancing. Um, you know, where girls are on podiums normally at either side of the DJ box. And we just... It, there's nothing... It's not a set routine like cabaret work is. At first, the girls' mums had their doubts about their new jobs. <laughs> We wasn't very happy in the beginning, but when we found out that both our daughters had got the job, you know, we felt better about it. We do actually have to wear uh, skimpy things because it does get absolutely so hot yeah. in the clubs. I, I mean, we're both, we sweat like mad. I mean, at up. the end of the night, my hair is just dripping. It looks like I've just been ducked under the shower. Yeah, it's so you've got to, you can't dripping wear a lot through. at all. Everybody wears those outfits when they're dancing in nightclubs and they'll be wearing that sort of thing on the beach like thousands of other young girls, you know. Um, I feel all right about it. They've got gorgeous little figures on them, you know, they look cute. We're just there to entertain, just to dance. We're not there for fellas to look at us or anything like that, are we? I mean, if they well, do, I they think do. so. If they do, they do, but... I know men do <laughs> well and I know that's not what they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you hope that they're there for. <laughs> It's the start of a busy day at Luton Airport. As usual, it's a case of new day, new problems for check-in supervisor Jane Bolton. Check-in actually closed ten minutes ago, so I won't be able to get you on that one now, I'm afraid. Oh, wait, no, I have to go. You won't be able to. I think they've actually boarded. Just doing the niece. Yeah, have you boarded? Okay. Oh, you're right. It's six o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. I'll try, but I really, I can't. I don't want to get your hopes up. So I don't think I'm able to get you on it. I'm just trying to dispatch. Oh Jesus. Hi. It's shot in the dark, Cole. But is there any possibility of one mail, one bag on the niece at all? Okay. All right then. So I'll, yeah. Okay. I'm on the next one. Oh no. Okay. No. It's all right. Thank you anyway. Thanks, guy. No, I'm afraid they won't accept any more now, sir. Um, have you got a meeting this morning? Yeah. I mean, you're welcome to use our telephone to telephone whoever you're supposed to be meeting there. Uh, so the next one isn't no, until okay. midday. The guy can't wait. He's leaving. Did they close the door they on? They have. Or? Yes, I have. Yeah, so I can't get you on it. Vincent Hillsden has an important meeting in Nice. Although he was ten minutes late for check-in, he doesn't believe Jane and is convinced he could have made the flight. They don't close the doors that early for a six o'clock flight. They've got absolutely no sense of goodwill or customer service. And I just find it incredible, you know? Right, so you've lost your passport. Can you spare me one second, then, please? Yeah, so I just wondered whether um, we could do a telex oh, to Barcelona yeah, to see if we, they can accept him at all. Uh, right, yeah, I have a driving licence. OK. Alright, bye. OK. If you could just bear with us one moment, because you lost your identity card, we have to contact Barcelona to see if you can travel back, OK? 
Okay. So I just borrow this for one moment. Yes, if you want to stand over the side there and we'll come back to you. Okay, thank you. While Katrina does everything she can to help Jove Jorde fly home to Spain, he can only wait. Mr Hilsden doesn't want to wait. He's given up on EasyJet and hopes to fly to Nice with another airline. Well, I just got to try and get onto Debonair here. And uh, failing that, I'm not quite sure what, other than waste six hours here. You know, I just haven't got six hours to waste. OK, what bags do you have, please? I only need your bags, not your bags. OK, just your bags. Like... Jove still doesn't know if he can fly, but his girlfriend has decided, if necessary, she'll travel without him. There's two passengers, as you can see. One, unfortunately, she's lost his identification card. So, um, before I could check the lady in, I've had to ask, is she prepared to travel if her partner can't make the flight today? You know, you really feel for those that have been really patient. He's cuddling his girlfriend now, and he's got to say goodbye to her. I've had times where people have lost their passports and they're having a go at me, saying it's my fault. You know, that they can't travel because they've lost their passport. And, you know, what can you do? But, I mean, he is being so sweet, isn't he? He's very nice. The call's gone out for the Barcelona flight, but it's still doubtful whether Jove will travel with his girlfriend. I feel so sorry for him. For Liverpool dispatcher Kevin Reardon, today marks the start of a new routine. His shift at the airport now includes nights. Tonight's his first, and it's not proving popular. Well, don't forget, when you come back, quiet for me, eh? Because I'm... Why? Because I'm on that night shift, aren't I? Can't help it, Tom. It's just something I've got to do. Does that mean I'll have to sleep at Nana's again? You've got to sleep at Nana's, there's no choice. I don't want to sleep at Nana's. Tom, look, you're going to have to live with this for a while. I've been put on this shift. It's not my fault. It's not my choice either. I don't mind. Do something Tom, less attitude. So we get sorted out, this is what we've got to do. God! Yeah. It's not fair, but that's the way it is. So? Do something about it. So I have to do stupid nights. Mr Hilsden has failed to change airlines. Jane is on a collision course. Sorry? Really, there's a lot more flexibility here, I'm sure. Well, it's not that, it's take... just, I'll tell you for what, we, have, we only have a 20-minute turnaround, you see, rather than I the know, normal hour. That's what it has to be on, you, fly on, you on the deadline. I'm fly, and I know how long it takes to get from here. Yeah, that's not the problem from getting you here to there. The problem is the load sheet. Once all the figures are worked out, it has to be all changed again, and that's what they don't like doing. If it had been within a couple of minutes, that's fine. But like I say, the load sheet had already gone out. They had the passengers on board, which is why I couldn't change it for you. Well, what about, I've seen many times, the queues are still there. At 15 minutes before the flight departs. Yeah, flights. and we get the queue down. We always close the check-ins on time. Why don't we, uh, yeah. <clears throat> we keep them open, obviously, if there's a delay. Then, yes, of course, we keep the check-in open, but if there isn't, we have to close it on you time. Know, I, I, and that I, is I the policy. These you know, maybe the policy, but I've, I've seen But then you can stuff. understand that I did try a few this morning, and unfortunately yeah, but, it was uh, a no-go. Uh, as it is, it's a re deviation. I've seen them in action a few times. Well, I mean, you're welcome to write in, but that is their policy. At minus I, I 20, to, it I does talk, close. Well, that's fine. There's no compromising here. That's the thing. Well, there is, sir, because you saw me try for you. Yeah, but so we do try. If we can, have, we can get you tried, on. But they don't well, I mean, respond. we do. If we can, we do get people on. We have got people on before. If there's a delay, I say. But unfortunately, this morning it was going on time, and there was nothing more we could do. Okay. She's a bit of a mouth, yeah. I tried for him. I found the guys in charge of the aircraft, and they said no. So it's out of my hands. Check him open at ten o'clock over on the left. It'll be the same reference number and everything. Okay. First time I met Mr. Plain in 20 years. Mr. Hillsden is forced to take the later EasyJet flight. You think in a little air airport like this, I could run from here to the door in about two minutes. Mm. Yeah? And it just doesn't make any sense at all. It is totally, totally inflexible. Okay, because I'm closing in five minutes and I really want to get him on. All right, darling. All right, thanks. Bye. Fine, that's fine. No problem. OK, thank you. I'm so thank sorry. You, no, 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 no problem. It looks like Jove will be going home after all. Arriving on shift, EasyJet captain James McBride. Morning. 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 How are we? Oh, Janie, fancy seeing you here. You're on the crew. You're not on the crew today. Are you? Where are you going? 
Palmer. <laughs> oh, dear. Hmm. Oh, joy. Yep, we're all together, honey bun. Where are we? This way. Two of their passengers, podium dancers, Sarah and Francesca. Got a splendid crew on, apart from James, of course. We've got a great crew in the cabin. So it should be a good day. We're full, new aircraft. That'll be good. Hey. For the girls, it's an emotional farewell. <laughs> Sarah's crying. <laughs> You'll be fat. Oh, you look sad. You'll make, you make me miss Gary. <laughs> Katrina's hoping for an emotional reunion. Go on! Thank you. Love it. He got on. Well, thank you. No Very problem, nice. no problem. Um, you'll be boarding in the little world's time, OK? After these lot, you board, yeah? OK. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. I was all so excited. I got him on the flight. I was expecting some massive reunion, and uh, she didn't seem that happy, actually, that he'd, he'd made it. If that was me and June and we'd been separated, I would have like grabbed him and ate him alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never walked on an aeroplane before. I haven't. We've you? always gone up with this pilot. Where's the pilot? <laughs> It's just after midday and Kevin is back at home. Well, I suppose I'd better go and try and get some sleep, really. I've only been up six or seven hours, but I've got to try and get some sleep, otherwise I'm going to be feeling absolutely dead to the world later and the kids will be home from school shortly, so I'll give it my best shot. At Luton Airport, passports are still causing a problem. This man brought his wife's by mistake. I queued up last night, put it outside, and I never looked, checked to see whether it was mine or not, and just picked it up this morning, and no, it's not a real rush, just one of those things. But you'll be back tomorrow. Yes. I have to. Can I leave that for a Yeah, minute? leave it yeah. for me. As soon as you know you're definitely going okay. tomorrow, I'll come at the moment, I'll transfer you for a charge, OK? OK, thanks very much. Second one today. Um, we had a classic, like, when was it last week you had one? On the niece, um, a gentleman and a lady turned up to check in, and uh, the gentleman had brought a woman's passport with him. And of course, she turned around and said to him, oh, Darling, you brought your wife's passport. So, what they were doing going away <laughs> together, I don't know. <laughs> it all happens here, I tell you. <laughs> Flight EZY401 is well on its way to Mallorca. On board are two very excited passengers. These are um, just for something to remind us of our mums. Yeah. That our mums have made up for us. Let's have a look. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, look at this little now. Just a few items to remind you of home. Just writing this after a few, a few glasses, glasses of wine. wine. You should have seen them last night. They were really drunk when we were in the hotel. Yeah, weren't they? they were. Didn't leave us any wine at all. Have a wonderful day. Nine weeks. Let's have a look at mine. This is a list of do's and don'ts. Don't drink too much alcohol. Don't leave your glass unattended. <laughs> is this your mum? Yeah. Don't lay in the sun for very long. Don't talk to strange men. <laughs> no vodka in those? No. <laughs> well, we'll be able to go and have a look in the cockpit. We've never Don't been in before. Pilots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'm joking, they're lovely guys. How are they? I'll need to ask permission, I'll check with them. Thanks. OK. <laughs> yeah, fine. Uh, I know I'm cutting it fine, but are you OK for a couple of flight tech visits? Yeah, fine, we've got a few minutes before the top of this thing. I think you'll like these ones anyway. Oh, really? Why? Why is that, then? A couple of 20-year-old podium dancers. How does that grab you? <laughs> <laughs> steady, steady, man. Easy, Tiger. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah? yeah it's, it's really OK, good. diddly, do you want me to stay with them, or...? Um, no, it's okay, you can bring them in. They'll Excellent. Be, they'll be safe with us. I'm so excited. Captain? Yeah, yeah, no worries. Francesca and Sarah. All oh, right, Come fine. Through. Hey, ladies, Hello. how are you? <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, it's brilliant. How fast are we going? Well, we're going about 530 miles an hour. Great, it's faster than your car. <laughs> All right, Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. 
now, that's not very nice. <laughs> It's 8 p.m. and Kevin's heading off to work. His wife Lynn is not pleased with the new yeah. shift. It came as a shock, because like Kev didn't apply for nights, so to be suddenly transferred from days onto nights, yeah, a bit devastating, really. I mean, nights aren't ideal for any family man. He's just not looking forward to it. And neither are we. My children are paramount. They will always come before any job that I have ever done or ever would do. Although at the same time, I would give my job my full commitment. But um, the kids do come first. The kids, my family do come first. Kevin's manager, Andy Redmond, has little sympathy. Well, Kevin has to do the nights. Uh... Like everybody else, it's, it's, it's a part of the business. It's not just the passenger work, it's the freight aspects. Kevin was never employed solely for one job. Uh, he was employed because of the increase in business due to the passenger side, but it was never designated that this would be his permanent daytime job. As the sun sets over Mallorca, the nightlife begins. Getting ready for their first night shift are Sarah and Francesca. Right. Fran's never done anybody's hair before, so I'm really putting all my trust into her. <laughs> Probably fall out. <laughs> Probably. So have you got a good feeling about tonight? Yeah, I have. I think it's going to go well. Okay. <laughs> She's confident, isn't she? That looks all right, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the last easy jet of the day lands at Liverpool. It's the first job of the night for Kevin. So this is the electricity for the aircraft on the cleaners. Uh, he's got a back, he's got a hoover and that sort of thing. It goes uh, down to Amsterdam at 06.30 in the morning. I'll still be here then to dispatch that one. If I'm still awake, that is. Bring it back, sing it back. back in Mallorca, the heat is on. Sarah and Francesca need to impress during their first dance of the night. Things are also hotting up in Liverpool. The airport's teeming with activity. But for Kevin, there are no passengers, just newspapers. He's like a fish out of water. What's Dave? Um, I'm not sure at the moment. I'm a novice, mate. The most frustrating part is I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> Kevin can't stand around for long. He's got newspapers to shift. I didn't realise I'd have to do lifting like that. I was most surprised. The headlines are, don't pick up dirty papers. Because it leaves print on your hands. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to enjoy this, quite honestly. I don't think it's really my cup of tea. Um, I would much rather be handling the, uh, the easy jet, the passenger aircraft, rather than doing this type of thing, this sort of manual work. That is it finished for the night. My next job is that baby over there, my favourite one. The easy jet. That is at 6.30 in the morning. What time is it now? Just turned one o'clock. So nothing happens now till 6.30. Five and a half hours of... Well, I don't know what, really. It's certainly not boring in Mallorca. Sarah and Francesca seem to be enjoying their work.
Which is on a Z for Z. Is anybody time? A little bit of money got in my life. The pressure has eased for the girls. They're pulling in the crowds. But Francesca has picked up some over-enthusiastic admirers. A little bit of sand rock in the sun. A little bit of Mary all night long. A little bit of Jessica, here I am. A little bit of you makes me... They tried to wave me over to talk to me, but I couldn't tell a word they were saying. I think they were German, probably, of course. They're really leery, though, aren't they? 20 hours we've yeah. been up. We're up at 7 today and then back home it's 3 o'clock so it's 20 hours. And I feel like I'll sleep for 20 hours. You will. 20 days, me. <laughs> I have to drag me out of bed tomorrow. Bye bye, Robin. In Liverpool, the 6.30am flight to Amsterdam is leaving. It's Kevin's last job for the night. Don't weigh me when you come in. I will do, don't worry. There's plenty of beer in the fridge. <laughs> All right, Lynn, see you later. Take care, bye-bye. She didn't sleep very well without me last night. She needs me there. She needs that male protection to look after her, you know? But no doubt we'll get used to it, I suppose. The house is very quiet because there's no kids there either, which makes a big, big change. I'm not there. And the children aren't there because they stayed out at the nans last night, so... She's a bit lonely. Never mind. It'd be like passing ships in the night. As I go home, she'll be going out to work. But the beer's in the fridge, so that sounds good. <laughs> Sarah and Francesca are back. After just three weeks, the club wanted a different style of dancer. If they wanted dancers more sexy and provocative, then they should have... You know, they should have employed dancers like that. They knew exactly what we were like. They videoed us at the audition, and um, so it just seems a bit silly, really. At least we've tried it, and we know now yeah, that definitely. it's... Yeah, um, definitely, and we've learnt a few new routines out of it as yeah, well, haven't we? Yeah, we have. So we have ben benefited from it, in a way, as well. But I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Hillsden flew home six hours late. His business deal was delayed by six weeks. Kevin slept well after his night shift, but was back the next night to do it all over again. Next week, a British model hits the catwalk and a drunk hits the deck. <laughs>